A new historical marker in Clinton County now shares the history of the Piper Aircraft Corporation that was once headquartered in Lock Haven. Newswatch 16's Mackenzie Yonker takes us to the Piper Aviation Museum. A historical marker from the Pennsylvania Historic Museum Commission now sits outside of the Piper Aviation Museum in Lock Haven. The marker symbolizes the impact Piper aircraft has made on Lock Haven and Pennsylvania. This is really kind of an exceptional story, the story of this corporation, how it, it came to this place, it provided this economic base, um, the quality of the planes that they designed and manufactured was exceedingly high, and they're very popular and well known across the globe. The marker was put in place to showcase the history of the Piper Aircraft Corporation that was headquartered at the William T. Piper Memorial Airport from 1937 to 1984. They still manufacture airplanes today in Vero Beach, Florida, but they, at one time they were one of the big three of the general aviation uh, airplane manufacturers, Beach, Cessna, and Piper, and they manufactured over 77,000 airplanes. Officials with the Piper Aviation Museum applied to get the historical marker. Step one is you know, this is the document telling us about the founding, you know, the charter of the corporation. And step two is this was a series of newspaper articles describing the relocation of the Piper plant to Lock Haven. And so you just sort of tell the story of the company through the documents that we have. Greg Peak, a member of the museum's board of directors, says the historical marker will serve as a learning opportunity for those visiting the museum. It's a commemoration to the past. It's also a dedication to the future, right? You know, now that this is here, we can look to the future and, and do other things to help build up the museum and sort of expand its outreach. This week is also the 38th annual Sentimental Journey Fly-In at the William T. Piper Airport in Lock Haven. The fly-in runs through Saturday. Mackenzie Ocker, Newswatch 16, Clinton County.